We take you to Ottawa now, where Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau is speaking after U.S. officials said that Iran shot down a plane. 63 Canadians were among the 176 victims. So, I before continuing, I would once again like to offer my most sincere condolences to the families and loved ones who are grieving. We all stand with you. What happened yesterday was a tragedy, a tragedy that shocked not only Canada, but the world. Before we go any further, I want to extend once again my most sincere condolences to the families of the victims and their loved ones. I and we are all standing with you. Since last addressing Canadians, there have been ongoing discussions. Since I last addressed Canadians, there have been ongoing discussions with foreign ministers, senior intelligence and military officials, including the fourth meeting of our incident response group. There have been important developments regarding the potential causes of this deadly crash, developments of which Canadians should be made aware. The news will undoubtedly come as a further shock to the families who are already grieving in the face of this unspeakable tragedy. We have intelligence from multiple sources, including our allies and our own intelligence. The evidence indicates that the plane was shot down by an Iranian surface-to-air missile. This may well have been unintentional. This new information reinforces the need for a thorough investigation into this matter. Canada is working with its allies to ensure that a thorough and credible investigation is conducted to determine the causes of this fatal crash. As I said yesterday, Canadians have questions and they deserve answers. Permettez-moi de répéter ce que je viens d'annoncer en français. What I just said in French. Nous avons des renseignements provenant de différentes we have sources, notamment de nos services de renseignement et ceux, from ceux our de own intelligence allies. services Ces and those of our allies. This information indicates that the plane was brought down by a surface-to-air missile from Iran. It is possible that this was inadvertent. Cette nouvelle this news confirms the need to have an in-depth investigation into this affair. As I said yesterday, Canadians have questions and they deserve answers. Canada is working with its allies to ensure that an in-depth investigation is conducted so that we can uncover the causes of this tragic crash. Uh, Foreign Minister François-Philippe Champagne spoke with Iranian Foreign Minister Zarif. Minister Champagne made it clear that Canadian officials must immediately be granted access to Iran in order to provide consular services, identify the victims, and participate in a thorough investigation. He also condemned Iranian strikes that targeted military bases in Iraq where coalition forces, including Canadians, are currently stationed. Ministers, Minister Zarif committed to continuing this dialogue with Canada as we seek answers. I spoke with Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky earlier today and conveyed my condolences to the many Ukrainians who perished in this tragedy. He assured me that Ukraine is taking all necessary measures to ensure a thorough investigation, and we will work closely with Ukraine and our partners throughout this process. I also called Prime Minister Mark Rutte of the Netherlands. He shared with me his experience in handling the aftermath and investigation into Malaysian Airlines Flight 17. Je me suis également entretenu avec le président Macron encore une fois aujourd'hui. Le président Macron nous offre son assistance alors que nous traversons ces moments extraordinairement difficiles. Je suis aussi en contact avec plusieurs autres dirigeants internationaux. Je suis aussi en contact avec un nombre d'autres internationaux et ces discussions sont en cours. Nous allons continuer de travailler de près avec nos partenaires dans les jours et les semaines qui suivent. En lumière de cette nouvelle information, il est maintenant plus important que jamais that we know exactly how such a tragedy could have happened. 
the families of the victims, and all Canadians want answers. I want answers. That means closure, transparency, accountability, and justice. And this government will not rest until we get that. Thank you for being here this morning. I'll now take your questions. So first question, Elaine Buzetti, and then we'll go to Glenn McGregor, CTV. Oui, alors, excusez-moi. Bonjour, Monsieur Trudeau. Uh, vous avez dit que vous avez demandé la participation you said à l'enquête. Vous avez demandé la participation à l'enquête. Je voudrais savoir quelle réponse l'Iran vous a donnée. Est-ce qu'ils acceptent uh, de avoir le uh, uh, Canada participer avec uh, les, les enquêteurs ukrainiens We are working à with the Ukrainian investigators at this time, uh, and we are continuing. On continue de to ask que les Canadiens soient impliqués to have Canadians cette, involved cette in this process. Uh, et nous de, and we will continue to have that conversation. Que pas confirmé. That uh, tells me that this is not yet confirmed. Le Correct. Dans ça produit, Given the context, do you feel that the U.S. is partly responsible for this, this given that they created the situation in which the, the missiles were launched? Uh, les gens vont, vont réfléchir, vont I think that's that's one of the many questions that people will be thinking about and trying to find answers to. For the moment, uh, I just want to underline the importance of having a full and credible investigation so that we can get those facts and then we can continue to uh, analyze based on those facts. I think it underscores uh, how important it is that we have a thorough, credible investigation to allow us to then uh, draw conclusions and reflections once we have uh, assessed and established uh, the facts of what happened. Uh, Prime Minister, could you describe in some more detail the kind of information you have that indicates that this was a surface terror strike? Because this is, a, as you know, an extremely serious allegation, and Canadians are going to want to see proof that this is what had happened. Uh, the uh, intelligence and evidence uh, suggests that oh. it is uh, likely that it was a surface to air strike, but I will not go into the details of that intelligence at this time. Uh, given that uh, the Iranians have denied this, and there's reports they're bulldozing the crash site, they've claimed the, the flight and uh, voice and data recorders have been damaged, do you trust them that they haven't actually already compromised the investigation at this point? Do, do you think it's a possibility that, that, that we won't get a real answer here? We uh, have highlighted that it is extremely important that there be a thorough and credible investigation on site of the crash with uh, international partners. Uh, the Iranians have indicated that they understand that, uh, but the conclusions we have uh, been able to draw on the, or the preliminary conclusions we've been able to draw uh, based on intelligence and evidence today are clear enough for me to share them with Canadians right now. So next up, uh, Catherine Levesque, Presse Canadienne. De la Presse Canadienne. Bonjour, Monsieur Trudeau. Uh, Pouvez-vous nous Trudeau? dire à ce moment-ci si l'Iran a Can accepté de partager les boîtes noires avec le Canada? Can you tell us now whether Iran has agreed to share the black boxes with Canada or France, and what would be the next steps? For the moment, uh, Iran has said that they will be keeping the black boxes in Iran, and, but they told Ukrainian President Zelensky that Ukrainian investigators at least would have access to the black boxes. Uh, the, uh, the Iranian authorities have indicated that they uh, wish to keep the black boxes in uh, Iran, uh, but have indicated to President Zelensky of Ukraine that Ukrainian investigators uh, would uh, have access to those black boxes. Et comment pouvez-vous faire confiance à l'Iran And how can you trust Iran now when they're denying some of the information that you just shared with us? We recognize that uh, this is a situation where we're going to need to get more clarity, more answers, and that's why we are calling for a, co a complete and a credible investigation with international partners so that we can uncover the facts of what happened for Canadians, for the families affected, and for people around the world. Hi, Prime Minister. I just want to circle back to an earlier question. If the intelligence is accurate, then it seems this is the end result of a sequence of events that was sparked by the drone strike ordered by the U.S. president. So given the information you have, how much responsibility does the United States bear for this tragedy? The Evidence suggests that this is the likely cause, but we need to have a full and complete and credible investigation to establish uh, exactly uh, what happened. Uh, that is what we are calling for, and that is what we are expecting will happen. 
if Iran does not cooperate, and there are some reports of, of at least minimal cooperation or questionable cooperation to this point, what pressure can you bring to bear? Would you argue for sanctions? Would economic repercussions? What can Canada do to pressure Iran to give you the investigation you want? I think those are, are conversations and steps we will contemplate as things move forward if it doesn't appear that there is a credible, uh, complete investigation. But right now, we continue to work with partners and uh, and uh, uh, direct Iran uh, with our requests that we have a credible and complete investigation. Okay, going to go to Marie Vastel next, and then afterwards, David Aiken. Oh, okay. Je pense c'est pas une question. Pardon. C'est quoi? Ah oui, euh, pour revenir à, à, yeah, so à l'Iran, euh, comment est-ce que vous Iran, comptez, si votre conclusion est que c'était un missile concluding that quelle est votre this is due to a missile strike, what will your reaction be and how do you intend to respond to Iran? Well, first of all, uh, the conclusion that we drew was based on a preliminary analysis of the intelligence that we have, but it just underscores the importance of having a credible and complete investigation into exactly what happened. That's why we're going to proceed with that step before we draw any other conclusions. So I understand that. But would that not threaten uh, diplomatic relations in terms of having access to the site, in terms of the repatriation of the victims? Would that not threaten our presence in, in Iraq, if that's what's happening, if people are launching missiles at the bases? So will our instructions to our forces in Iraq remain the same, or will something change? I imagine something will happen. Well, indeed, this is a very concerning situation. That's why we want to know more. We're going to be working with international authorities and with investigators and with Iran in order to get answers into exactly what happened. We recognize that this may have been done accidentally, uh, but that just makes it even more important to clarify exactly what happened. and then we'll go down to Christine afterwards. Good afternoon, Prime Minister. I just want to come back to the, the qualifiers you've been using may well have been unintentional. You just a minute ago said it may have been accidental. Um, that implies that it may not have been unintentional. Can you be as definitive as you can be, knowing what you know, knowing what you can't share with us, about the intentionality of this apparent missile strike? I think that is one of the reasons why it is so important to have a full and credible investigation. Uh, before we get into definitive conclusions, as you say, we need to ensure that we have uh, all the facts gathered. Uh, the intelligence and evidence right now uh, suggests uh, very clearly uh, a, a uh, possible uh, and probable uh, cause for the crash, uh, but it is all the more necessary, therefore, to gather all the evidence to have a complete picture of what happened. And let's follow through then that uh, the evidence does in fact show that it was an accidental, unintentional surface-to-air missile. What range of options would the, the government would the government of Canada respond in some way to that? And if so, what range of responses might your government consider? I think uh, anything in the range of responses would need to start from uh, a clear understanding and a credible confirmation of what actually happened, and that is why a proper and full investigation is going to be so important. Christian Noel, and then we'll go next to Michelle. Bonjour, Monsieur Trudeau, Christian Noel, Radio Canada. Good afternoon, Mr. Que vous savez présentement, est-ce que ça vous convainc hors de tout doute que c'était un missile et que c'était involontaire? Well, to be convinced beyond all doubt, uh, we would need a credible, thorough, and in-depth investigation. Thorough and in -depth investigation. And that is exactly what we're calling for. We want a complete investigation. That's what we asked for yesterday, and we're continuing to ask for that today. And those discussions are ongoing. And I want to tell Canadians and, and families that what we have gathered in terms of intelligence does indicate 
uh, very clearly that this could very well have been uh, an unintentional surface to missile, uh, surface to air missile strike. And for the families of the victims who want answers, We've been listening to Prime Minister Justin Trudeau of Canada. He says that the evidence shows that a missile from Iran brought down the Ukrainian plane that crashed just short of Tehran there. Um, and he also echoed President Trump in saying that it could have been mistakenly shot down. There were 63 Canadians among the 176 victims on board. He is calling on Iran to turn over the black boxes. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back. You're streaming CBS at.